Say, bro, the Lakers are now nine and 10. Before we get into this video, everybody go ahead and hit that like button. Make sure you smash the subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so you can receive a notification every single time we post a video. Welcome to Sports R Us. And tonight I wanted to quickly talk about the Lakers who just lost to the New York Knicks. They lost tonight uh, of a score of 106 to 100. Uh, the Knicks was up at tw uh, about 25 at one point within the game. The Lakers did wind up coming back, uh, but wasn't able to close the gap all the way. The Knicks took care of business and, and won this game in MSG. Now, there's multiple things that's gonna, that we're gonna talk about when it comes down to the Lakers. Uh, currently right now, the Lakers is nine and 10. After losing this game, they were at 500. Uh, because they beat the Detroit Pistons on Sunday, you know, and that was a whole big time situation that happened, resulting in Isaiah Stewart being suspended for two games, LeBron James being suspended for one game because of a elbow and blood and all different types of things that was going on on that game. We ain't even gonna get into that. Overall, what I wanted to get into as it pertains to this video is the fact that the Lakers is just deplorable. And that's the only way I could put it currently at this time. I um, I said that I wasn't going to overreact to anything as it pertains to the Lakers. Anything. I wasn't going to overreact in the beginning. I wasn't going to really give my opinion on the Lakers or assess them or have any issues with them until after the Christmas game. But I do feel right now we're at this point where the Lakers is in a is in a pretty bad situation right now because in one of the videos I spoke about the fact that you know it did take time with LeBron James figuring out new teammates and different things like that whenever he gets to a team but I also spoke about the fact that at that time LeBron James was much more healthier and he was in the lineup much more frequent than he is right now now of course the reason for him being absent in his past game wasn't for an injury it was for a suspension but you know we're going to have games here and there where lebron james is going to have to really take off you know lebron james is not going to play 82 games this season already he missed about nine to ten games already this season um so that's out right but they have to find the, the balance you know and the reason why they got somebody like russell westbrook it's no secret they got him because when lebron james is out when ad is out which ad is is out a lot they wanted to make sure that they had a certain amount of players that they can put into the lineup that can win a game for them here and there and that can provide them with the um, offense and, you know, just with the abilities on the court, you know. So you brought in players like Russell Westbrook, you brought in players like Carmelo Anthony and knocked down shots, you know. You brought in Avery Bradley for his defense because you lost Kendrick Nunn and you got Taylor Horton Tucker back but he has to get comfortable in the system he had to get comfortable back and playing basketball tonight he was all 0 for 8 you know so he had an 0 for game tonight he played 28 minutes 28 minutes and 45 seconds in this game and he didn't give you any points so that was a problem anthony davis i really don't know what's going on with anthony davis to be honest with you is always up and down with anthony davis and he has a lot of different injuries and things like that but I'm starting to think that it has nothing to do with the players. To me, I really feel that when LeBron James comes to a team, LeBron James brings a certain level of comfortability for coaches. And sometimes coaches will benefit off the fact that LeBron James is who he is. He's going to win games, right? Um, and you don't have to make too many adjustments because you have LeBron and he can make the adjustments for you. He is the adjustment, right? But I think now because an older, you know, he's he's older as it pertains to a player, this is 19 year. I'm not saying he's lost everything, but I mean, with old age, there's certain things that, are, that, are, that you're gonna have to adjust to, you know? I still think LeBron James has the ability to do whatever he wants to do on the court. But some of those things aren't as quick as they might have been before. So I just feel like right now, when it comes down to LeBron James and with the Los Angeles Lakers, they need to look at the coaches. Frank Vogel 
to me, should be on the hot seat. He should really be on the hot seat because, I mean, there's multiple people that talk about his adjustments that he doesn't make any. Uh, the fact that they don't really run an offense for Anthony Davis. If you pay attention to the game, they really don't set up plays for Anthony Davis like that. They may do one or two plays, but for the most part, they get down there in the offense and it's pretty much a free fall. You'll see certain passes, wild passes that Russell Westbrook will take. And I'm not saying that that's solely on the coach, but there's certain adjustments and certain things that you have to do as a coach to, to make sure you set the precedent for what's going to be on the floor. And that's the problem I have with the NBA overall. I think the NBA depends on too many of their star players to just be star players. And they don't really have an identity. You know, and I spoke about that in a, in, in, in a uh, video before as well, that the NBA does not have an identity. They have only certain teams that stay within their identity. To me, the Golden State Warriors is the only team that has an identity. You know the way they're gonna play. They pretty much set the standard. Everybody else is pretty much, pretty much free falling. And then when you have players like LeBron James, Kevin Durant on your team, you start to feel comfortable enough that you don't feel as if you have to set up an offense or really run certain schemes because you feel like those players are the scheme. But the main problem with having those players is that you get too comfortable. And to me, Frank Vogel is way too comfortable. He's way too comfortable in the fact that he won a championship, which you know why he won a championship, right? Um, he's way too comfortable just in that overall. And I think they need to be somebody in the background that's putting him on the hot seat that's letting him know your job is not concrete. Even though we gave you that extension and all those different things like that, so we'll cut you and still pay you. Because right now, what I'm seeing from this team, a lot of this has to do with adjustments. A lot of this has to do with a coach stepping up to certain players and telling them, you're not gonna play like that on the floor. And not being scared to tell those players, even if they are star players, that you cannot play like that on the floor. And overall, for me, I just feel that losing all the different games you were losing because you had a spark on Sunday that wind up allowing you to win that game against Detroit. But the truth is you were losing that game. And a lot of this just has to do with adjustments. So I just feel like Frank Vogel right now, I don't know what he has to, what he, what he needs to do or what he's gonna do. I would suggest he figure out a scheme that works out for this team. And like I said, it is gonna take time, but within that time, you still have to win some games. You only won nine games so far. I'm not saying the Lakers won't win, won't win a championship. I'm not saying the Lakers won't win the play, uh, make it to the playoffs. But right now, if you looked at this team and you just watched them right now, somebody that's not a fan of some players that's on this team would say that this team is not gonna make it to the playoffs. They're not a good team. And they're too LeBron James leaning on, they're just literally leaning on LeBron James for anything that he can do. And in the NBA, we need to start forcing coaches to be coaches. So that's my problem when it comes down to Frank Vogel and when it comes down to the Lakers. I think he needs to figure out a scheme for this team. If not, they need to put him on a hot seat. And Frank Vogel might wind up getting put out of this uh, organization before this year is over with. So everybody let me know what you feel. Let me know what y'all feel down below. Everybody go ahead and hit that like button and make sure you smash the subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell. Let me know how you feel about Frank Vogel. Let me know what you are feeling about the Lakers currently right now. What do you think adjustments need to be made when it comes down to the Lakers? And do you agree with me? Let me know down below. This has been Sport Tar Russ. I appreciate y'all.